What's up guys? So back at it again today with another Zentangle and uh, I got something very different for us. Uh, today is Zentangle Day 9 and you may notice that my little intro card here is black with uh, white pins. Um, that's because today is all about working white on a black surface. Uh, so uh, as opposed to working in our journals uh, or on cards that are white, we're going to be working on cards that are black. And the things you're going to need for today, uh, if you have it, a gel pen is amazing. Uh, these are my favorite. Uh, they're called the Sinos by Uniball. They're the best gel pens. Um, gel sits on top of the paper. Uh, and whenever I hear people talk about a white paint pen or something like that, I think these work the absolute best. But you can get away with just using a regular old Crayola white color pencil. Um, they make other things like white charcoal, uh, a white crayon would work, uh, but uh, I think this is something that we all have handy, uh, so this is what we're going to use. Now, when we talk about today's patterns, the big thing that uh, I want to kind of stress here is that you can use any pattern. Any pattern that we have used up to this point uh, including tangulations where you kind of get to mix and match your own. Um, these are all fair game for you here. So you really have to think of maybe which ones are your favorite. Maybe pick the three or four that really that you really appreciate. Uh, I have a few here that I just kind of did some examples of just to kind of show you a few techniques. So again we're doing white ink on black paper. Uh, I have the Amaze the Hollenbach and the Knightsbridge. Uh, if you have a white gel pen, uh, you can get a nice solid kind of white color. And what you would do is, is you would shade in areas like adding value with uh, with your white color pencil. Um, again, you can get just the same effect out of a white color pencil, but letting you know if you have the gel pen. So I'm gonna push all these cards to the side. So we've done a lot. You know, this is only day nine, so there's a lot more to go. Trust me. This is only up to day 20, so <laughs> lots, lots. All right, so uh, just, just to kind of get everybody started, make sure everyone's on the same page. Uh, I just want to get you guys going here. So I have my black card, like always. I'm going to place my four dots to annotate my corners. You see I'm just using a white Crayola color pencil. I'm going to imagine I'm laying a string down. All right, I'm going to start by working lightly. Oh, and I'm going to lay that string down. Once I kind of have that, I'm going to, going to allow um, some lines to run through the surface here. All right, and this is going to break up my space so that I can, you know, I can, I can put some patterns in. Uh, I've really fallen in love with the flux pattern uh, quite a bit. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to lightly pencil these in with this white. Uh, if I mess up, I do not recommend using erasers on this paper. Uh, it can kind of like scratch the surface of the paper, as odd as that may sound. Um, so, yeah, just kind of start light. Um, or it would be start dark. Start with light pressure. And then we'll slowly go back and add more pressure as we go. But yeah, I think this is a good pattern here. I'm just going to use it to fill this space. Um, I really like the Amaze pattern, so I might put it in here somewhere. Well, but I'm just going to lightly start blocking things in. And then we will kind of slowly get into going a little darker. All right, I got my Knight's Bridge. Very quickly putting some lines in. Now for this one, I'm going to have to make sure I fill it in nice and solid. Here. Alright, uh, maybe, maybe I'll do my maze here. This one takes some time, um, but I think it's going to be nice here. Um, and what am I missing? I also used, hmm, let's see here, what else do I like? 
Oh, I really like this one, the Shattuck. Let's, let's, uh, let's throw that one in there too for me. And I will use this area for that, for the Shattuck. We'll do our little tendrils that come out. I've gotten more and more comfortable with this pattern. And the more I do, the more I love it. We'll do one in the middle. Gotta draw these little tendrils first. And you can go back to that video and watch that uh, if you need help. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then uh, just to get these little patterns in here, I'm gonna give myself a little note here. I think I made that a little too thick. Curve this way. Curve this way. Curve this way. Curve this way. And curve that way. All right. Again, I'm, I'm not really pressing down super hard. I am just getting enough in here so that I know what's going on. Oh, sorry. I'm moving down a little bit away from the camera here. I'm trying to be quick about this one today because uh, I want you guys to get into drawing and just kind of really exploring with this one. But I want to show you a few tips and tricks. That's why I'm not going to go all in on that amaze right now. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, I'll do it before I put this in my journal. Because that's going to be our final step here. All right. Uh, of course, uh, with this, certain ones are going to get filled in. I'm just going to make a little note for myself here so that I know and this one and yeah and yeah that looks pretty good that looks pretty good so I got I got some stuff down I think I'm happy with how this looks now let's show you a few a few little tips here I'm gonna zoom in a smidge sorry about the shadow fix the camera there we go all right so started very lightly of course uh, and now I can go in and really add those fine lines those like actual details so if I press a lot harder now with this white color pencil I get a nice solid color you definitely can see how bright that is that guy right there pops out and this is it you shade with this thing um, as well uh, it kind of shades in reverse a little bit. I'll show you that in one second. You know, you, you can just like pretend this is graphite and just shade with it like you normally would shade. Let's see here. If I throw in, you know, press firmly here. I get a little camera shake. I think that's okay. All right. Check that out. So pretty, pretty solid here. And, you know, again, I'll definitely be going over all my lines uh, to really make sure that this, this little guy gets cleaned up, is looking good, um, outlining everything, making things bright and shiny. Here, yeah, let's get this in here. Got that little blip there as part of that flux, right? And uh, similar to how I would normally shade the flux, start kind of lightly on the outside here, getting some highlights in, get a little darker as you get close to the center, and then a little darker even still, and then maybe a little bit right there too. Right. So this is this is uh, again, it's another thing to add to your artist toolbox. Uh, and I hope you kind of have fun with it. Uh, so uh, if you don't have any cards, <clears throat> see me. I'll get you one. Uh, this is actually just some black construction paper. Uh, so feel free to cut some up. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy this one. It's pretty neat. Pretty simple white color pencil. 
Uh, and if you if you are a fancy and you have a nice white gel pen, you can use it instead. It's it's not it's not a perfect thing. The white gel pen, I'll just show you. Um, but it it does allow you to use a thinner line. Uh, and if you use these things in cohort, it, you can like actually get a lot of nice stuff. But yeah, maybe you'll get your own white gel pen. Um, I recommend this one if you do. All right, you guys be good. Take care, and I'll see you next time.